All right. We're going to talk this morning about some product specific stuff, some life insurance, and we're going to have Luke Lucas from Sagicor on here uh, talking a bit about uh, the new simplified issue process with both application and underwriting over there at Sagicor. One thing I like to talk about is kind of the environment, the background, uh, to give a backdrop of where we're at and put it in the context. Everybody knows the S&P 500. Uh, it's one of the things that, that we keep an eye on here to see what rates of return are and, and what people are thinking as far as moving their money around. This here is a chart going back to 2000. And we like to, we'd like to look at the markets on a daily basis and say, okay, the market's up today, market's down, the market's been up the last few weeks. But if you really look in a historical context going back to 2000, 12, 13 years, you know, we're at the top of this range right now. We're at about 1,500. I checked this morning. The S&Ps were up right before I got started here, 15, 18. So we're, we're right here. But as you can see, over the last 13 years, we really haven't gone anywhere. We've been up. We've been down. But no discernible trend there. A uh, lot of volatility, not a lot of trend. That affects some of the products we're working with and kind of how we need to approach some of the products we're working with, some of the things we need to think about. And now, another thing we really need to think about is interest rates. Here's a 10-year bond yield chart going back to the 1960s. And as we can see when we put it in a historical context, uh, we are at all-time lows right here. Again, I checked right before we logged on this morning. 10-year yield down slightly today, 1.89. So well under 2%. Historic, historic lows. And that affects a lot of the products we have to offer, the rates of return we have to offer. Pretty much everything is driven by the interest rate environment, CD rates, what have you. 10-year uh, bond yield, uh, historic lows. Another thing we like to look at if we have the stomach for it is uh, the national debt. And as it, as it uh, pertains to uh, the environment, uh, what, what's that going to do to tax rates uh, uh, moving forward? The conventional wisdom is that as debt continues, as you can see, this actually is a few days old. If you have the stomach to check today, you're going to see it's uh, – Closer to 16 and a half billion, and this is this is a daily thing we got we got to watch uh, as far as that debt rocketing and what is that going to do to affect our taxes in the future? Most people think that taxes are going to go up, and how are we going to position our clients' money? How are we going to give advice, given that one of their concerns is going to be a rising tax environment? And then of course. If you log on to any of our other stuff here, you see we like to talk about the regulatory environment. One of the big things lately has been AG38, Actuarial Guideline 38, kicked in last month, and it's affecting how insurance companies deem to reserve for what they call the secondary guarantee products, uh, no-lapse ULs with, uh, with a no-lapse guarantee rider, uh, lifetime in income benefit riders those kinds of things on either life or annuity products. One of the big impacts immediately was on the no lapse ULs. And if you write any no lapse ULs, you'll see those got repriced uh, by every major carrier, every carrier who offers a secondary guarantee no lapse UL. The pricing has changed. Annuity pricing has changed too. Uh, it's, it's putting more pressure on lifetime income benefits, other secondary guarantees. We won't get into a lot of actuarial mumbo jumbo there, even to the extent to which I would be qualified to do so, but it's just something we need to keep an eye on. The regulatory environment's changing and it's affecting the products we have to offer. Also, another thing to keep in mind, suitability. If you're writing any income rider annuities, particularly, most of your annuity products, you're seeing you got to make sure you have the latest suitability for them because the companies have to update them. They have to include new things all the time. And uh, I talk to agents and they say, well, you know, what is this suitability form? What is this question here? I never had to answer that kind of thing before. How, what are they getting at with this question? Yeah, it's, so it's, it's putting pressure on us to keep our paperwork and keep our details in order. 
because I tell you, if you haven't had a, an app bounced yet, uh, you probably will, even if you're working on uh, trying to keep your paperwork in tight order. It's getting tougher and tougher. So that's one thing. If you if you work with our office at all, uh, you can probably call in here your best bets to talk to Deborah. She's smarter than the rest of us, probably in general, but particularly when it's talking about getting your paperwork in orders, getting your I's dotted, T's crossed to get the stuff issued because all your carriers are really having to pay more and more attention on all that stuff. So we'll try to help you with all that. I'm going to move along here so I don't cut into Luke's time too much. Uh, one other thing I wanted to mention, uh, as, as the population ages, as it puts pressure on the government resources, as, ta as uh, national debt rises, we need to think about taking care of ourselves medically as we get older. And here, a recent Rasmussen report, only 35% of people are confident Medicare will pay all promised benefits. Whether they will or not, we can't say, but that's a concern of a lot of people, the point of this. A lot of people are concerned. Where are they going to be at? Is the government going to take care of me or am I going to take care of myself? And that's one of the products from SagCore we're going to be talking about here in a little bit that offers a strong benefit in that area that can help folks out. And today the product specific stuff we're going to be talking about is from SagCore Life. And if you talk to one of the marketers or me here at Silverside, you're going to hear uh, SagCore come up a lot. It's one of our lead products. We really think they have a couple of key products that really have power in the marketplace today. And I'm going to go over a couple of those. It's the fixed index single premium whole life and their Sage Advantage annuity. I'm going to touch on those real quick, and then we're going to turn it over to Luke, and Luke's going to talk to us about some of the new stuff they have coming out, uh, which will process-wise help you get your business issued, uh, get applications moved quicker, get underwriting handled quicker, and make it a little bit easier on you, as I just gave you a backdrop of an environment where most everything's getting tougher on us. So let's move in. A uh, little background on SagCore. A lot of folks, when when we uh, when they respond to an ad or whatever whatever marketing materials we put out, or I'm sure Luke has this experience, they say, "Well, you know, I don't know a lot about SagCore. They're not so much a household name like some of the big time competitors or some of the big time players in the market." But SagCore has been around a long time, 170 years. Uh, we, we have some more, and here's a few bullet points. I'll, I'll do you the favor of not reading every single one. But we do have some collateral on SagCore, a little bit about their history. So when you mention a SagCore product to your client and they say, well, I'm not real familiar with that company, we got a little bit you can put in front of them. So uh, they have what they call, they have two series of products. They have their gold series, uh, which is uh, either partially underwritten or non-underwritten, and then their platinum series is, is what they consider fully underwritten, not to confuse it too much there, but they have the two categories they split that into. point here is they do have a full line of products. They have annuity products from indexed annuities, traditional fixed annuities, SPIAs, and they have a full series of life products. They have whole life, they have term, they have a series of universal life products that fit different needs. So we can be your expert on that. Here's the second page on a little bit of, of what they have, term, and the three kinds of annuities that are popular in this day and age. But one thing I wanted to talk about for starters, you guys probably all heard this from me or somebody in my office before. One of the real things that SagCore hit the market running with about five years ago was their fixed index single premium whole life. And don't worry about reading all the bullet points here. Uh, I have a quick view sheet that if, if we haven't put that in front of you yet, I can get that to you, and it gives most of these bullet points. So I got two pages of, of bullet points, including, you know, the product features, how it works, and it is an indexed single premium whole life with three crediting strategies. But really, what for, uh, for a few minutes, we have to talk about it today. The, the thing that I need to point out, here, if you can, we, we can run an illustration for you. You say I have a client, a uh, female, 65 years old. This is a kind of a case in point example here. We'll run an illustration. You say she has $100,000, and I think she's insurable. I think she hasn't had any major health issues. 
she maybe is on a little blood pressure med or she's on a couple medications, but she hasn't had any stroke, heart attack, internal cancer, no major health issues. So this product issues two table four as standard. Anybody who, who qualifies as a table four or better health risk will qualify for this product. And it's off of a short phone interview and an application. There's no medical exams here. The underwriting department sometimes, uh, if the uh, phone interview uh, comes up with some questions or isn't real clear, the underwriting department will take a look at maybe some medical records or whatever to see if they can make an offer. But what you really need to do is either, either log on yourself if you have a Sagicor writing number and you can log on to their illustrator or you can call over here and one of us can show you how, for example, and I know this probably is a little bit small font, so you folks might have a tiny problem seeing the numbers, and the exact numbers on this aren't important. The layout is kind of what I wanted to get at here. It'll show you the values uh, on the both guaranteed values and with the index crediting, the current values, which means what at, cr at current trends with the, with, uh, the S&P uh, ratcheting the way it is or the the global, the mixed global strategy uh, running the way it is, what's your client likely to experience given current trends, and then of course the guarantee side. We like to say here that uh, this product is usually, we, we think for most scenarios, you should focus on the guaranteed side because the guarantees are very strong. This is cash value whole life with guaranteed cash value growth and guaranteed death benefit off of the one single premium. The real, real power, you say, I know there's other companies out there that have single premium whole lives. Well, there's a number of them on the market, but I defy you to find one that has a stronger chronic illness benefit. If you look in the far right column here, uh, it'll show you exactly what the monthly benefit will be based on any given calculation in any particular year. And with Sagicor, that is a cash benefit and it's triggered off of a one-page claim form you take to your doctor, your own family doctor, fills out the one-page claim form that you have difficulty performing two of six ADLs or your client has perform difficulty performing two of six ADLs. You send that to the Sagicor Claims Department and assuming everything's in order, you qualify or your client qualifies for this monthly chronic illness benefit that's spelled out right on the illustration exactly how much in, in monthly tax-free cash they can draw off of the death benefit, not out of their cash value. Very, very powerful way to leverage your client's money up uh, with, with tax-free benefit. There's no, uh, there's no, uh, follow up as far as what did they, do we see any receipts from the home health care they got or what exact medical bills did they spend this on? It's a tax-free cash benefit they can use on whatever they need to if they get into a situation where they're on 206 ADLs. Doesn't mean they won't make a full recovery. They might make a full recovery and be on the golf course in a year as opposed to some of the other single premium whole lives out there where they have to be uh, confined to a nursing home or receiving uh, qualified home health care or some restriction like that. That's tax-free cash benefit. Very, very powerful on the SAG score. Strongest benefit in the business. If somebody's got one stronger, go ahead and give me a call and show it to me. I'd be curious to see it. So I'll move along here. I don't want to cut into loops time. Uh, one other thing I want to talk about is the, the nine-year indexed annuity from Sagicor. It doesn't have a traditional illness rider, or excuse me, income rider, uh, which she said, well, why, why are you telling me about a feature it doesn't have? Well, the point is it's, it's got strong enough guaranteed returns uh, and liquidity that you can sell this product. This product is very, very client friendly in this marketplace without relying on an income rider. And we've been quoting to each other for years, uh, whatever the number we saw in a LIMRA study, 75, 80, 85%, whatever, people don't take income off their annuities or they only take RMDs or they only take what they have to, whatever the case may be. So 
The question is, why would we have only income rider products in, in our portfolio to offer to our clients when we know a lot of them are not interested in that? Well, a lot of them are, and there's a lot of good designs. But if you have a client who just says, look, I'm tired of getting 0.45% on my CD. I, I have some bonds that are, that are mature. Where can I put the money? And I don't want to tie it up for a long time. And I don't want to spend money on a rider. I don't need a lot of bells and whistles. I need good crediting. And I need to be able to get at my money. So we'll, we'll bump through the features on this pretty quick. Again, I have a one page, or I'm not sure if it lays out a one, two page, they call it a quick view from Sagicor that'll show all these product features, you know, the details, the surrender schedule, all those kinds of things. But again, what's really gonna be the power is when you take a look at an illustration, and this is an annuity where you can actually illustrate for a particular client, this issues all the way to 85 with a 5% immediate vested premium bonus to age 85, hard to find any vested premium bonuses in this day and age, let alone a 5% to 85. But when either you run an illustration on this or you ask us to, the real power of this, again, is if you look in the far right column, you see the minimum guaranteed surrender value. And the guaranteed returns and the liquidity in this product is so strong that at the end of year two, if you see in the far right column, 100,000 has a minimum guaranteed walk away. That's on a full surrender, paying the 8% surrender charge just the way the numbers work, 101,359. So here's a product where you get good rates of return, good guarantees, and you're not married to it forever. If you need out of it, you can get out of it. If you have to, if you have an emergency or if rates go through the roof and you, you need options, this product's gonna give you options. You're not paying for an income rider. There's no 75 BIP, 100 BIP charge, whatever the case may be that some of your income riders charge for what can be a valuable benefit, but not everybody needs it. If you have clients who need a good rate of return and need good liquidity, this product is not gonna be beat out there. We're really seeing sales take off in this. So let me move along here real quick. Uh, I'm gonna turn it over to Luke in a second. One thing we're gonna be talking about a little bit more at the end of this is Sagicor does have a trip they call it their Sagicor Group Convention. It's gonna be in the Mayan Riviera, uh, Caribbean side of Mexico next spring. The qualification period runs till the end of 2013. So we can get into a little bit more later exactly what it takes to qualify for the group convention, but it's gonna be a really cool trip. Uh, they did one a couple of years ago that was first class all the way. So we'll get into that a little bit later. Now let me see, Luke, uh, can you hear me? Are you available here, sir? I'm here. <clears throat> can you okay. hear me? I, I can hear you. Um, let me go ahead and turn the screen over to you and let you get started. And if you, if you think, I did I gloss over anything there that, uh, that maybe we should clear up right now or, or should we move along? No, it's... Uh... Everything you did was uh, really good. Uh, you explained <laughs> the products very well uh, without having to get too detailed. Um, first of all, I want to thank you for allowing me to speak to your guys today. Um, one of the things that Sagicor is working on is uh, simplified issue type products for the middle class, middle America. And what we've come out with is our express issue product on a no laps and a whole life chassis. And as you can see, the express issue is on face amounts of 5,000 to 24,999 uh, from ages 18 to 75, as well as juvenile, uh, which is 15 days up through age 17. Um, so what this may basically means is it's an eight question application uh, as long as they can answer no to all the questions, then uh, they qualify for the for the product. Um, it's a standard uh, non-tobacco or standard tobacco process. The only uh, uh, not drawback, but the only way that it can be uh, submitted is on an e-app, and so that's you have to go through the website. 
and I'll show you how to get to the uh, illustration and get to that il uh, to the application on the website. Uh, so the so the two products that that I'm talking about right now is the juvenile and the express issue has to be done on an e-app. We we don't accept any paper apps on the on that those particular products. Uh, the other uh, no lapse and whole life product that we have that's on a simplified issue uh, basis is our uh, simplified 25 to 249,999. Uh, you might think, you know, there's a lot of companies out there that that do have that product, and they do. Uh, the, what separates us from that group is the fact that uh, there's a phone interview, uh, there's a seven question app. Uh, and then at the end of that, you uh, call our MRS company that does the interview. And at the end of that interview, uh, your client can uh, qualify either for a preferred non-tobacco, standard non-tobacco, or rated. And plus, it, uh, we do offer preferred tobacco and standard tobacco. So it's a simplified issue product, but your client could qualify for a preferred uh, risk class uh, based on the questions and the interview process. The interview takes 15 minutes or less and you have a, an immediate uh, decision at the end of that. Um, and that's on ages 18 to 65. And then on your older clients, 66 to 85, it's same face amounts. Uh, it is fully underwritten, but they do have the opportunity to get preferred rates uh, on non-tobacco and preferred tobacco as well. The, the way that you get to the uh, e-app is through by going through the website. So if you're a, an appointed agent, have an agent number, you have the ability to uh, register on the website so that you can get to the illustration software and be able to do this you know, on your own. Um, so Sagicore Life USA is the website and you go in um, you'll see the picture of the kid with the helmet on, the cute kid, and then you go down here to the producer. Um, if you have not registered, you can, you'll be able to register by going to this uh, click here to get started. If you've already registered, then this is how you log in. Um, if, if you're interested in uh, just being able to uh, utilize the website without you know, messing anything up, being able to get to the e-app and, and walk through the whole process, even submit the, uh, the application and not mess anything up, uh, what you can do is you can go to our test site and the uh, username is test producer, as you see on the screen, all one word, all lowercase, and then the password is Sagicor lowercase and this allows you to get into the to the illustration software and be able to walk through the e-app system uh, without you know submitting any business uh, but it gives you the opportunity to, to uh, utilize it test it and and get more familiar with it before you actually go out and work with one of your clients but the way you get to there is you go to producer services, go to illustration software, click on that, uh, and then you're going to run it from the uh, from the website. So, so when you're so working again, with your clients, was, go ahead. But that, that was, was test was that producer and and Sagicor. And that's right. from, all lowercase. All from the Sagicor on the TSA test agent login. Correct. Okay. Now, if you're actually going to do it, if you're going to do it for real, then you're going to log in with your own uh, user ID, your own password. It's the same steps as, as you know, walking it through the, the test site. Um, but by use, utilizing the test site, you can get more familiar with the application, how, you know, how fast or how slow it, uh, it'll take you to do the very first one. Um, but it'll give you that opportunity to, to work with it, to get more familiar with it, so that when you're... Uh, you know, sitting down, sitting down with your client or working with them over the phone, you'll be able to you know breeze through it pretty quick. So, in order to get to the uh, e-app, you got to go to your illustration software, and you go to new illustration, and then you pull up whatever state you're working in. Uh, your 
your product type is going to be universal life and then you're going to click on the no lapse UL. You're going to put in your client's name you're going to utilize uh, it's going to ask for a birth date uh, so you, you put in their birth date and what I'm going to work with is the uh, the small face amount with a tw 5 to 24999 so since we know that's the one we're going to work with we need to change the risk class to standard because it, there is no preferred on on the small face amount and then you can either hit the uh, next arrow or you can go over here and hit plan and that takes you to the next uh, screen where you can uh, determine how much death benefit uh, the client wants and since we're working small face amount so it's going to be under the uh, 25,000 so I'll just put in 20,000 uh, the only other thing you need to remember is the the mode that you want uh, that the client wants to pay you know most of them want an electronic draft uh, well they may not want an electronic draft but if they want monthly that's the only way that that we do it is electronic draft but you got you need to make that certain that you put in however you want the client to pay that you make that change here and then that will allow you to uh, that that will transfer to the application uh, when you go when you get there it'll it'll transpose everything that you put into the illustration to the app so that it, it pre-populates it and it gives you gets it to you know allows you to go a little bit quicker uh, through the app so we've got everything we want. Uh, we got the twenty thousand. We got it monthly. We got the we got his birth or his uh, birth date and the name of the client in there. Um, again, you can either use the arrows to navigate through the process, or you can just go here to the uh, reports. And and actually, you could go to application. And it and as you see, create application has a red uh, X next to it which means there's you know there's something uh, missing if you put your cursor on it, it's going to tell you that you need to save the application uh, so you just go up here hit save it's going to allow you to name your uh, case and then you're going to save it and as you see create application now you can create the application and in order to save time I've already uh, put one together and um, so let's say you've uh, already created an application you're, you've got it prepared before you go out and see your client um, how do you find your application once once you go uh, once you've got it saved so you go to go up here to the go to click on it and then you're going to go to my cases all right it's going to bring up all the cases that you have saved uh, on your laptop or in your, in your file um, because we're talking about applications we're going to go to applications and bring that up and that'll that'll show you all the applications that that have been that you've saved um, and then we're going to find our uh, case that we saved oops hang on missed it so Mr. Funk is the one that I, I pre-populated. Um, so we're going to go over here and we're going to hit View App, and this is going to bring up the application that I had had already saved, gone through, you know, put in his address and everything um, to to have it ready. And then this, the first screen you see is uh, the the instruction page. Now there's two ways to navigate through the the system. You can either open go to the open and it's going to give you all the pages that you, that uh, are necessary uh, or shows you you know which all the pages or you can navigate by use a lot use, utilizing the arrow button okay again um, first page you're gonna it's going to populate the uh, the amount that you're applying for it's going to tell our new business uh, department that it's no lapse and it's going to show you use the cash value uh, test and what death benefit it's going to pre-populate that here are the eight questions for the express issue uh, again if if they answer yes to any of these uh, it's going to knock them out and in that case uh, you would have to go to the uh, 25,000 higher amount um, which 
in in reality, if you go to the uh, phone interview, uh, the client's probably going to get more death benefit with uh, less premium by doing that. But some people don't want to have to do an interview. Uh, neither product has a uh, paramed, so it's it's still non-invasive. Uh, but again, one will have an interview, one will not. So. Like I said, as long as they can answer no to all these questions, um, you want to get familiar with the questions uh, so that right, you know, you don't start this process and then find out they they answer yes to one of these, uh, which and then then you'd have to start all over. Uh, one of the big ones right now is going to be the fact that you know, do they have hypertension? If they answer yes to hypertension, they they don't right now they don't qualify for the. Uh, uh, small face amount. Uh, we're in the process of, of changing the, the application. It won't be till probably third quarter, fourth quarter uh, before we get that changed to take out that hypertension question. But right now uh, it's there and if they answer yes to it, they don't qualify. So if, uh, if you notice this page has a comment circle, red circle, that means there's something missing on that page. Uh, so once I answer that last one, it goes away. And if you notice form entry, I'm at 97%. Uh, so I've, I'm, I'm almost done, but I, I'm still missing some information. If I hit open, it's going to show me w what pages I'm missing something on. Um, so you know, page two, basically that you're going to fill out all their uh, information, their, where they live, their f telephone number, height and weight all that good stuff and uh, to save time I've already done I've done that so um, here I left a couple of them blank um, it asks if, if you've met with the proposed owner um, if you're doing an e-app we don't require you to meet with the client um, so if uh, so if you answer, you know, say say you're doing it over the phone, you're going to answer no, and then all you have to do is explain why. And in the explanation, all you have to put is doing eApp. They're going to verify everything that you do with the client uh, because the client has to have a, a uh, email address in order for you to to send them the application for review. Now, if you're doing it in the office, if they're if you're, they're in your office, they're still going to want a an email address so that they can send the uh, application to the the client uh, via the internet. Um, so, but when you're out in the field, if you're across the table from uh, the client, they've got to have you have to have internet access, and they have to have an email address in order to uh, do the e app. And then the other question that I missed was, uh, was there any other person uh, uh, present to answer the questions? The only reason I did that is so that you'd see that the, how to navigate through for any missing uh, information. We're almost done. So consumer uh, electronic consent, basically you have to tell them that, you know, uh, they're um, – giving consent to, to receive this information through the internet through a uh, secure site and this is where you uh, have them or you know you check the box that says they consent if they don't consent then then you wouldn't be able to do the e app of course uh, but but nowadays most everybody is uh, comfortable with the internet uh, you know everything will be secure, so none of their information will be um, um, given to anybody else. Um, and then the other boxes you needed: I accept delivery uh, through electronic access, and that the instructions have been uh, given to them. So now we the uh, the app is complete. We're going to go to continue so that we can sign the applications. Now we're ready to sign the applications. Uh, of course, you don't want to hit decline e-signature because then it wouldn't be an e-app. Um, so we're going to use e-signature. 
and there's two ways to do it. You can either, if they're in your office with you right there, they can sign it uh, in front of you. Um, if they're if you're doing it over the phone, then you're able to send them an email that that they can uh, look at and uh, sign it. Uh, here's here's where if if you're working with them uh, over the phone, you'd send them the email request if they're working. If you're at their house or you know across the the desk there in your office, you just have them sign now. And the way they do that is. Um, they're going to verify their their information uh, based on you know their uh, ID is going to be their uh, driver's license number and then their name their social and then their birth date hopefully everybody remembers their birth date Now, in order to uh, review the applications, they they can go through the whole thing, or uh, if it, if you're com they're comfortable with what has you know gone through what you've gone through with them, they can just you can just click on the uh, each tab, and then uh, by checking the bar box that uh, e signs the uh, information. So we go through that. Acknowledge that everything has been e-signed. I'm going to sign it. It's going to ask them for their name again. Now, if you have an iPad, uh, you will be there. Will be a, a way you they could sign it that way, uh, but. Uh, if you're just doing it on the laptop or whatever, there's no signature pad needed. All they have to do is go through the application and, and check the box saying that they they sign. And then as the agent, you're going to sign or e-sign everything. You hit continue, and uh, you're going to see request review and then submit. Request review would be if somebody needed to see the information before you submitted it, uh, but since we're all adults and, and because this is an e-app, um, it's it's idiot proof. It's it's going to make you fill out every form, every uh, you know everything that's necessary for the the, the application to be uh, in good order. So at this time, you're just going to hit submit, and then it submitted your application to the home office, and you're going to get a, a message that it's been uh, or been submitted. Now, if you want to uh, check on it, you go up here to other actions. And you go to history, and here it shows you uh, everything about that application that you submitted. Um, it's going to give you the confirmation number and that uh, that the home office, Sagicor's home office, has received your application, and so it, it and so you're done. Uh, like I said. By utilizing that test producer site, you can go in. You can make up your own, you know, fake uh, client. You can you can see how fast it is to put in the address, to fill out all of the uh, red boxes that are required, um, and and get more familiar with it before you go out and see your first client. Um, so that's basically it. Um, it's it's as easy as just you know, plug and plug and play type deal. Um, 
you got any questions, Rick? Or yeah, well, we have a couple, uh, and I think we can clear up a few of them. Uh, okay. Maybe we can talk about the applicability and the the ranges again. If you can go back to that screen, if you have it handy, where it talks about the the ranges, the the five to twenty five, and and the the twenty five to two fifty. Okay. And we can talk about the applicability because one thing I've noticed now, Sagicor doesn't call the five to twenty-five UL. They they don't they don't call that a final expense. But given the face amount range and the guaranteed nature of it, it is kind of a final expense style thing. Yeah, um, um, it is. I mean, if I was you know if if you were my agent, I would I would call it a final expense. But uh, Sagicor wants it to. They want to call it a small face amount benefit, mm -hmm. but uh, the, yes, the five to twenty four nine ninety nine is designed for that those people that are looking, you know, for in case they or when they do pass away that that they you know they get to be able, be buried however they want to be buried. Mm -hmm. um, so that is that is the case. Um, uh, what other what other questions you get, sir? Well, I was going to point out I've, I've checked some pricing on that against the traditional final expense products that are, that are labeled as such. A lot of those are cash value whole life, and they might they might have some fit for certain folks. But people who just want death benefit, pricing wise, uh, the, the that five to twenty five will beat anything in the traditional final expense market on a pricing standpoint by a lot. So that that's one thing everybody might want to take a look at. And as far as yeah. the, the the simplified issue, the, the 25 to 249, I've checked that against a lot of the uh, UL market out there and even against fully underwritten products. Where like here, you're looking up to 249. You can go with uh, no parameter APS. Uh, that the the pricing is very competitive in that in that niche, even against some of the leaders out there who have uh, who have exams and paramedics in maybe the 200,000 range. Whereas this this is a this is going to be a quick issue. What kind of turnaround times? Uh, are, are we looking at as far as if you do an e-app and you have the simplified underwriting, which on on the 25 to 24 all the way up to 249, you're just looking at the application medical questions and and at above 25, you're looking at a phone interview, correct? Correct. Turnaround time is 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 probably as quick as four days uh, up to about eight. Uh, depending upon you know the the two different types of, of uh, products, um, so it, it is pretty quick. Um, now, I, I want to kind of remind remind you that if you do have somebody that doesn't qualify for the the express issue, don't be afraid to look at the uh, simplified issue, even though it has the uh, phone interview. You know, you might have somebody that has uh, hypertension. Uh, which kicks them out of the express issue, but they, by going to the phone interview, they they may qualify for the preferred rate, which will give them a much better premium for a higher face amount than than just the uh, the express issue product. Okay, good point there. They might have they might have a little bit more to go through underwriting wise, but uh, premium versus face amount, they might be doing better. Correct. Okay. And then, uh, if you wanted to touch on the the trip a little bit, I don't know if you have anything to add there uh, on details. I had a few other questions here about product specific stuff. Uh, if if I didn't get to any of these, I will get to. I see uh, who who asked them and and whatnot. So we'll get to you on a one on one basis, or feel free to call in, and I'll give you make sure everybody has our contact number at the end here. Uh, as far as uh, a couple of questions about the illness benefit on the single premium whole life that I was touching on, what that's going to do basically, it's going to give you a 33 month uh, illness benefit. Once triggered on the on the one time trigger, you can draw on that death benefit for 33 months. It's going to come up come out to be about three percent of the death benefit. There is a slight there there is a holdback. They hold 25,000 
of the death benefit in force payable at death. So it's 3% of the remaining death benefit. A very rich benefit and, there. Um, and the only yes. state, uh, Rick, the only state, uh, Florida is the only state that once you trigger that uh, benefit, it, they ha it has to pay out the full 33 months. Uh, in the other states that it's available in, you know, if a person's in a car wreck and, and can't perform two of the six ADLs, they trigger it and, you know, six months down the road they're better, you know, they can stop that uh, payment if they want and then, uh, and then if it happens again then they can restart it up again. Now the, the thing is it's only going to pay 33 months so if they, they have six months worth of, of, of that paid out that only leaves them 27 months, you know, the next time it's triggered. But in Florida, once it's triggered, it has to pay out the whole 33 months. There's no stop, start type deal on it. Okay. So in, in other states, it would be at the insured's option whether, right. to, whether to stop it. But they, they could continue to draw even if they were getting better. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. There's no requalification with that. Once, once we determine, or you know, once it's determined that they don't qualify or they can't perform two of the six ADLs, we don't, you know, have them requalify every year. It's just we'll pay until they either stop it or until the 33 months is up. Okay, and yeah, I do have a few questions here about state qualify or state availability. Um, I think uh, on the uh, we, we can answer any of those uh, one by one. Uh, most of what Sagicor is in 44 states. I think some of the key states where we we've had some glitches. I know the illness rider on the whole life, the single pay whole life is not available in Illinois. I know that's been a sticker for us. Right. Uh, other than that, that's pretty widespread. The Northeast is pretty tight. New York State, obviously, uh, everybody has trouble getting in there unless you're New York Life or. or couple of the specialty guys. So we're not talking New York. Um, any other ones jump to mind, Luke, that we need to mention here rather than go by case by case? No, that's, uh, well, Massachusetts uh, does not have the uh, index single premium at all. It mm -hmm. hasn't been approved in Massachusetts. But, uh, um, and then uh, Montana, uh, and North Carolina probably are the the big states that don't that don't have it. Uh, right. But the, okay. the state metrics is available on the website to where you can take a look. You know, if if you're selling multiple states, you can look at the state metrics and it'll tell you whether it's available in that state or not. Or if you utilize the illustration, if you go to the illustration, you pull up the fixed index for that state and and you're looking and it's it's not there, then obviously it's not available for that state. Right. Okay. And the simplified process you just showed us on a no-lapse UL, what all products is that available on as, as we talk today and, and where are you guys headed with that as far? I know, I know you don't have it on your term. There's a different simplified process on some of the term, but Where's the process, the EAP and the issue process you just showed us on as far as products? The EAP, the EAP is available for the uh, no lapse, of course, and our uh, periodic premium whole life. Those are the two that the EAP uh, is available on only right now. Um, we're going to be coming out with a new term product May 1st. That's going to be a 10, 15, 20 year term that's going to have the same simplified issue process and be on, available on EAP and that will go up to uh, 399999 uh, face amount on a simplified okay. issue process. Okay, and so the uh, single pay whole life that we were highlighting earlier, that's on what you call a point of sale process which is a simplified issue, but it's a little bit different thing than what you were showing us. Right, and, and basically what they do is they'll, they'll take the application with the client and then they'll call the phone number, uh, which is going to, will be changing uh, March 18th, but right now they go, they would be calling uh, Mid-America Agency Services uh, and uh, what they'll, 
Moss will ask the agent a few questions and then put the client on the phone and then they'll ask the they'll ask the same questions that that the uh, that's on the application and then any any yes answers will open up some different a uh, questions for them to ask and then at the end of the uh, process they uh, the agent could get an accept as is or a referral you know for our underwriters to take a closer look on it at it Right, so that that process hasn't changed. That's the same way it's been for about what, five years now. We've had that product out yes. that we've been working with in that same process. Correct. Okay. Well, I think that's about it. There are a few more questions here, and we'll, if we didn't get to yours, we'll get to y'all uh, one on one here afterwards. Uh, I want to thank Luke for being here today. Uh, did you have anything else to add, Luke, or anything you think the folks need to know about? Well, the 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 trip um, depend depending depending upon when you were appointed with SAGCOR, uh If you were appointed this year, then there is a uh, a percentage uh, or a pro rata type deal in order to qualify for the the trip, and that's available uh, on the website. Uh, if you or if you can't find it on the website, you can always give Rick or I a call, and we can get you that information. Um, and then, uh, if you do a single premium whole life, or the single premium either whole life or the annuity, um, it takes about 18 apps is all to qualify. There is a, a, a minimum uh, premium uh, also, but uh, it, it's you know going to be pretty easy uh, to qualify you know through the single premium products versus the uh, the uh, periodic premium right now in, in this short of a time span. So you're looking at about 18 single premium apps and I think the, the, the ratio was 7 to 1 on that so you're looking at yes. what about uh, roughly a hundred uh, if you're going uh, periodic apps if you're going right uh, okay okay well, for a lot of folks out there who are selling final expense or final expense style, they might they might rack up quite a few of those, and if they sprinkled in a few single premium apps, uh, they might get there that way. But uh, yeah. I know we got a lot of guys writing the uh, the annuity. I think we probably have you, you probably have some folks who are writing eighteen apps every every two or three months right now with uh, the way that yeah. thing's selling. Huh? Exactly. Okay. Well, I'd like to thank everybody for logging on today. You see our contact information there. Uh, my office is always available for any questions on this or the process. Uh, test producer in Sagicor was the login there to, to try that out on Sagicor Life USA. I think that'll be useful for everybody. It really is. I've, I've monkeyed with the process a little bit. Um, it, it, it looks a little intimidating at first because there's a lot of tabs and a lot of buttons and a lot of things. Once you've used it once or twice, it really works smoothly and it'll really help uh, get your apps processed quicker. And I've been testing pricing on this. Anybody who, who would like to go ahead and give, give my office a call, we can price stuff out against uh, what else is on the market. This is all competitive pricing and very simple to issue, get underwritten, and get out there. So it's, it's moving in, and Sagicor is taking the lead in it. So if, if you're working with any kind of UL products, whole life products, it's something to start getting involved with. All right. Well, thanks, right, everybody, thanks for being here, and, and thanks, Luke, for your time. And, uh, Thank you. We'll we'll have a version of this recorded. We'll we'll edit it up a little bit to to try to trim the time down, and we'll have a link available for anybody who'd like to call in if they missed something, came in late, or had leave early. Uh, we'll get you a link on this so you can review it. All right. Thank you, everybody, and. Uh, take